Today, we are going to build a Linux powered podcast studio. Computers, gaming, retro gear, devices, tech reviews, and more. Kicking off with Android. So here's the area we're working with. As you can see, it's already in a recording studio. We'll give you a tour in a little bit. And it's already foamed up, ready to go. Got headphones, we've got wiring. This is where it's gonna go. We've got a couple of lights up here to start working with. Um, we're gonna have a sub mixer over here. We've got our microphones. So you can have two guests at the same time during this podcast. This client wants to do his own podcast and figured he'd ask me about it, so we're gonna get him set up. So this will be the, the table here, sub monitor there, we're going to put everything together and see how she turns out. So for this computer build, we are going to do basically the same setup that I have at home. So you can see, we got the same motherboard, same RAM, but only 16 gigabyte sticks, 500 gigabyte Samsung solid state drive, i7 6700K CPU, fan of course, and 750 watt power supply from EVGA. All right, let's crack this open. Let's, let's build us a computer. Let's go ahead and get this power supply out of here. So here's the power supply. It's a modular power supply. Because when I do builds now, I, I'm always gonna do modular power supplies. This is a weird defect for a screw. If you look at it, it's got the indent to where you can put the screwdriver on it, but it's actually not cut out. Something happened in the factory with this one. That's kind of goofy. We went ahead here and mounted our SSD here. It just screws on, on the bottom here. Four screws, and there you go. We'll pop her in. Next, we need to get the old computer and take out some of the old drives out of that old computer. So let's go see what we're dealing with over there. Okay, here's the old computer that was in the studio. Looks like it's an old HP Pavilion, I think. Yeah, HP Pavilion. Not sure what model offhand. I don't see anything right in front of me here. Look at this thing. She is in bad shape. There's even cobwebs in here. Here's the hard drive down there we need to get to. Look at that butte. Oh my goodness, beautiful. So it's definitely gonna need some cleaning. And as we got here, this is kind of interesting. I think there's a Wi-Fi card in this thing. Interesting, so we need the CD-ROM drive, the hard drive, and this thing's gonna need a clut. Oh my God, look at this, there's cobwebs in here. Ugh. What a disaster. I'm surprised this thing was even working. Yummy, look at them cobwebs in there. Yum, yum. Mm-hmm. I don't see any cobs. Oh, okay. Boy, that computer really fought me on that one. Oh, but I finally got the drives out of there. We've got our LHL data storage, super multi DVDI yeah, rewritable drive, the Western Digital Green one terabyte hard drive. Let's get these inside the new PC. We've got the CD-ROM drive in, we've got the one terabyte hard drive in, we've even got the motherboard in here, CPU heatsink all ready to go. Figured since I've already done this build before, there's no need to record it all. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is screw everything down, button it up, get the fans on there, and we'll see where we go from there. Got it all put together, all buttoned up, all the wires tied, tied down, got the cable management well taken care of, Already turned it on, it posts, everything's ready to go. So our next step is put it on, go hook it up, and get some Ubuntu 1604 installed on here. Here we are, we've got Ubuntu installed on it, got it all set up. Let's get in here and kind of show you what's going on. Here we go from back here, got your keyboard and mouse, we've got a mini laptop over there piped into this mixer that way you can you know play music or have a guest or whatever but or you can do it on the main machine so we've got this one going to the laptop these two channels coming back from the rig for audio you know coming back so you can listen to it and then the person a and b you know microphones for here we've got the obs running so that way i can do like an on on-site podcast good way to test it is i'll do your own podcast and See how it's going to work for somebody else. Really neat setup here. This is going to be really nice. Got big lighting, really bright, good background. 
And yeah, I'm really excited for this. Let's go ahead and go inside the computer and give you a tour. Here we are on our Linux powered podcasting studio machine. We got HTOP running, just kind of seeing what, what it's doing. What we've installed, just because we need the basics for you know this particular podcast studio, we went with Ubuntu 16.04 because the client likes Unity. So any of you out there who are going to say, oh, 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 Anthrit, how come you didn't go with this? How come you didn't go with that? This was the client's choice, not yours. Uh, what do we got on here? We just got files, his hard drives. OBS is installed. Um, this is to adjust the camera settings. It, it does the job very well, actually. It does a neat job for giving you full control over the Logitech C920s. Firefox for a little bit of web browsing. Easy as pie. We've installed Kitty and Live, so if we need to edit a little bit here and there, we've got a video editor. Kitty and Live will work perfect on here. Audacity, you've got to have Audacity to clean up your audio, edit the audio. It's really, really neat. Awesome program. Recommend it. Audacious, this will allow us to play background music during the podcast and anything that he needs to do to make his show a little bit more spicier. And also, he's even got a CD player mixed in here, and we can turn that up. And play music from a CD player if we want to. We can do it the old-fashioned way. That's that's really cool stuff right there. And of course, GIMP, so we can make borders, you know, the text for the OBS. GIMP is a great tool, you know, for making your art, arts and album art and everything you need for a website or pushing, you know, YouTube thumbnails, etc., etc. So we need GIMP in here. You're going to need LibreOffice, the writer, just so you can take show notes or any of that kind of stuff that you're going to need. Back to the main camera. We'll show you what it, sh what it looks like around in the studio. Now, back in the studio's control room, this is where all the recording of the musical stuff goes from out there when people come over and play their music. You got audio workstations, you name it, mixers, beautiful to go. And what's really neat, our new rig we got set up, we've got the image to be, you know, mirrored between a display in here and the display out there. Rig sits down there. I hope you've enjoyed this tour, and I hope you had fun watching us build this Linux-powered podcast studio here. So from this time and every time on, folks, remember to keep on clicking. This is Anthony from Anthware, signing off.